Alicia, thank you so much for agreeing to be interviewed for our Meet Morgan Park segment. I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to all of our park friends. Everyone, this is Alicia Briner. She's been with Morgan Park for just over six years, started off as one of our museum educators, providing tours of the Davis Mansion and the Carriage Museum. She was also always working on Center for Civic Impact Projects, and she has now become our Education Programs Coordinator for the Center for Civic Impact. Can you tell me a little bit about what that means? What is it that you do? Some of my responsibilities are writing lessons for local school students. So kindergarten through 12th grade lessons, um, teaching those lessons, whether they are in person or if they take place as field trips to Morgan Park, um, doing a lot of administrative tasks like writing grants, uh, grant applications to get funding so that we can continue to provide these lessons for free to our participants. And I'm also the lead on the digitization project, which is the translation of our in-person lessons to a virtual format. So that's a little bit of what I do. Uh, you say it's a little bit, but it sounds like a lot. So thank you. Thank you for everything that you do for Morgan Park. Uh, there are actually two things that I'm really excited about this year. The first being completing all 10 of our K-12 lessons, completing that project of translating it into a virtual online option for teachers and students in the classroom because it has been such a long process. We started planning and developing this idea back in 2018 as a way to reach even more students and engage them civically with their communities. And um, during 2020 and the pandemic, it really accelerated that project and we contracted an educational technology company to help us through that process and all 10 of those lessons should be complete by October, 2021. So we're really looking forward to implementing those lessons into the classroom this coming school year. And my second thing I'm excited about is hopefully very soon getting back into the classroom in person to engage with students and um, teach them about civics education. All right, Alicia, do me a favor complete this sentence and you do have to you, you have to pretend or imagine it is just a gorgeous day it's a weekend you can do whatever you want and you are headed to Morven Park so let's finish this sentence I am headed over to Morven Park for a tour of the Davis mansion I am a huge museum nerd and most of my time outside of work is spent going to different cities and exploring different museums. And what's really special about the Davis Mansion at Morgan Park is that it's an original collection. About 95% uh, of the objects within the house are original to the last owners of Morgan Park, the Davises. And it's a unique experience because we don't have any ropes or barriers. So our guides kind of take you through that experience of walking through the house as if you were visiting back in the 1920s. So it's really a treasure. It's really an experience that I think our park visitors don't always take advantage of. Either they don't know it's there or over the past year it's been closed. Um, so I would definitely be going on a tour, but I'd probably make it a full day experience with a hike on the Ridgetop Trail and a little picnic on the lawn to top it off. That sounds like an amazing summer day. I'll be honest, I'd like to be right there with you. And just in case anyone missed it, we are reopening the Davis Mansion. It's going to reopen um, mid-June. So that's Friday, June 18th. So you'll get to take your tour soon enough.